Welcome back to the workshop everybody. So glad you could be with me today. I've got a real quick one for you. Well, I hope it'll be quick, but you know me. I start talking and it never stop, but... I wanted to get on the quick topic of diamond sharpening plates and the fact that diamonds are not forever. Now, what do I mean by that? They are long-lasting. They will continue to function many, many years. I've heard in everyday use five to seven years, maybe. I can't tell you for sure. I've had this one for a couple years. But I started noticing something on all my diamond plates and I'm not blaming anybody. This could be me and the way I handle my tools. Or maybe I have a tool, one tool that happens to be very hard and it's doing this. But there's scratches right in the steel plate. Okay? On the 300, on the 1000, on the 180, and then the one that I was using to polish, my 4000, I sent that back. I sent it back to the manufacturer to be evaluated. I'm not blaming them. I want them to put it under their microscope. I want them to look at it. I want them to tell me if it is even functioning anymore. Because I don't feel like it is. And it's got a lot of these scratches in it. So, another thing about diamond plates is they're not as flat as people think. Are they flat? Yes. They're flat to the tolerances that the manufacturer sets. So, if they're grinding, if they're grinding this plate to plus or minus, let's say, a half a thousand from corner to corner, that's great. But now they put the grit on. Now it can only be as flat as the thickness of the nickel plating, as the thickness of the grit. So it could be off a little bit. I know for a fact that if I try to flatten a blade or chisel on my 180, then go to 300, they're not the same. Then from the 300 to the 1000, they're not the same. And then from the 1,000 to the 4,000, they're not the same. So you might feel like you're getting really good results and you're getting nice and flat and then you go to the next grit and you're off. You're either convex or you're, co you're concave, one or the other. We're talking thousands of an inch. So as woodworkers, we know of ways to get around that and so you just use the ruler technique and you, you just Use a micro bevel and away you go. So, I'm curious as to why I'm making scratches on my diamond plates. Like I said, it's probably something that I'm doing. Could be just one of my plane blades, maybe extra hard, I don't know. Lastly, if you're using a diamond plate to flatten your water stones, you need to dedicate that plate to that task. Is it a must? Maybe not. It's suggested not to use a plate that has ever been touched by steel, with or without oil. Because like I said, these are not perfectly flat. And in fact, after you start using them for a while, go ahead and just run your finger around the edge and you'll find that, wait a minute, I'm not using this corner, I'm not using this corner, this corner, I may not be using all the edges. So these are technically dishing out in both directions. So, is it a half a thousandth? Is it a thousandth? Is it the thickness of the abrasive? 
And they're not real diamond, they're a synthetic diamond. But if you're going to use a diamond plate to flatten your water stones, make sure you have a dedicated plate. But I have a problem with that, and that is a hundred and some odd dollars for a dedicated plate at 120, let's say, to sit and do nothing all day long while I'm using it only to flatten those water stones. That's why I kind of like using the diamond plates. It has nothing to do with the fact that I really like the way water stones cut. It's simply I can use these dry or put a little fluid on them. This one plate, 1,300, can go get wrapped up and go in a toolbox and I've got sharpening capability no matter where I am. I'm on a job site, I can sharpen. I don't even need a strop, I don't even need leather, I don't need anything. I can sharpen well enough on the job with just this one plate to take care of a nick that I get or just to polish the edge. So that's about it really. Um, they have a lot of pros and they have some cons, but five to seven years worth of wet or dry sandpaper on glass with water or WD-40 or something will cost you way more than this diamond plate. And it's not as convenient, but if all you're gonna do is sharpen once every six months, a little bit of sandpaper on a piece of glass is all you need. So, hope this helps somebody. If it was useful or entertaining, give it the old thumbs up. Uh, click subscribe so that you're there for our other videos and uh, share this on uh, Facebook or other social media. And uh, head out to your shop, sharpen your tools so that you can go make some shavings. Walter out.